Ten check today. Um, we'll just start out from a setup from standing, how to get there. Um, so, we're going to be here, I'm going to uh, be the tie up like this. I'm going to try and get an underhook like this. Yeah. And when you get an underhook, you want to like really try and lift their elbow like that. It makes them, uh, it makes it so they can't control your arm too well. Okay. So if I grab like here, like this, Jamie can come over my arm and he's got an overhook too. So we're both sort of controlling each other here. If I get the underhook and my, my elbow, like my shoulder's high and I can lift his elbow, it's hard for Jamie to control me like that. Okay. So, here we go again. Come here. He's going to reach underneath, lay your elbow a bit. Your other hand's going to grab the back of their head, like so. And we're going to try and like pull their head down into our, uh, into our armpit so we can catch their, their neck. But to do that, it's not that simple. Uh, usually, if you just try and pull, they'll resist really strong. So we need to make sure we've got a lot of power in this. I'll have my right foot forward here like this. I'm going to sort of drop my weight so my, all my weight will go through this shoulder and this head and at the same time I'm going to step back like that. So I want to make him sort of fall forward a bit and, and drop his head down. <coughs> so again, get your underhook here like this, grab the back of the head, you're going to step back and pull that head down. Just here. You do have to be firm with it. Don't whack them, but you got to do it reasonably firm. Okay, so again, here like this. It is important to step that leg back. If you leave it forward, they can also grab the leg for a takedown, potentially. So you're sort of stepping back the leg that they want to attack. Here like this. Alright, once you get that, we're grabbing the chin. And we're locking our uh, elbow tight against our, the side of our ribs. So try and pull your head out, Jim. It should be hard. If they're in front, he can move his head out of this. Yeah? So it should be like at the side, elbow locking him down next to my ribs. And the other one's just this underhook here. It should be really hard for him to get out of this position. But I want to get him uh, down to the mat to be able to finish. So we're going to like do another little uh, sprawl to, to get him down. Uh, and I kind of like, so we're here, put my weight through my, through, his, uh, through my right shoulder onto him again. And sort of like sprawl a little bit to the right, like that, to my left. Sorry. So I'm kind of like that, away from the arm that you've got. It's a little bit of like a whipping motion. It's not like everything at once. It's like the last thing you kind of pull on is the, the, the head to kind of pull it down. All right, so get our underhook here like this. Back of the head, we're going to step back, pull, catch the chin. Head in our ribs here, and then we're just going to pull them down to here. And we'll just stop there, okay? That's going to be our warm-up. All right. Uh, let's go one minute each, and then but swap again. So one minute, one minute, one for your partner, back to you again, back to your partner. So you do it twice each. Uh, three, two, one. First of all, make sure people are being careful with how you apply this. Uh, it's, a, it's a choke, not a neck crank if you do it right, which means I'm not, when I get the guillotine choke, uh, I think you see this a lot, Actually. We're gonna, I think, uh, you see a lot of people get the head and start like pushing and pulling like that, like they're trying to pull the person's head off. Like you can, you can choke when you do that, uh, but you've got a fair chance of injuring them too. Okay, so we're not trying to pull their head off. We're just trying to slice our neck into their artery, and then they they tap and it runs. There's no injuries. Okay. So let's go over the setup to this. Got the underhook here, got the back of the neck. When you grip the neck, like I said, neck, it's probably more really the actual head. The, you get more leverage there. Here, harder to pull. Okay, so go there, catch the neck, and I'm gonna pull him down. And I wanna put a lot of pressure uh, through my shoulder just so Jamie can't get up. Okay, so once I'm here, like, almost all my weight goes through that part of the shoulder. I wanna connect my hands together. But to do that first, uh, I want to just get Jamie's head a little bit more to the side again, like we were doing before. So it's next to my ribs, not in front of me, like that. So I just kind of, I move his head a little bit, but also a lot of it's just me moving my body a little bit to the side. From here, my left hand's going to come through and connect. So my right hand's like this, holding the chin. It's going to come through and connect, like so. Nice and easy, like that. Uh, the way you grip is... Like the way you reach that hand in is quite important. Usually if you go like this, they'll grab your, your hand and intercept. As soon as they get good control of one of your hands, you'll struggle to finish this choke. So 
don't let them control that hand, what I do is I come really tight to my body here, like this. And I keep it tight. So when Jamie goes to grab that hand, it's actually kind of hard to... Like, you see, when he's trying to get in to get a good grip on it, it's hard. If it's open, he can grab. If it's nice and tight to the body, I come through and then I connect. Once they're connected, he can try and grab, but it's probably too late. Okay, so here, I come nice and close to the body and I connect my hands like that. I want my hands like nice and high too on my uh, sternum, not down near your, your abdomen. I think that's probably the next place people go wrong quite a lot. Like they'll, they'll end up here like this and there's way too much room for his neck now when I actually sit down to put the choke on to, for his head to come out. The higher my hands are here like this, the less space there is here for him to, to escape from. So I don't want to be like this, I want to be here. I'm holding the neck, pull the head to the side, bring our hand in, connect our hands. You can pull your hand through a little bit if you, if you feel like you're not quite on the neck. You should already be able to kind of choke them a little bit, but we don't want to be too mean just yet. Hands come nice and high. You can walk forward to do that too. And then I'm just going to drop on my right hip here. Like this, okay? From here, left leg goes over the top. I get the finish, okay? So I'm turning into it. I'm really, uh, I'm squeezing here. As I turn down onto my side, I'm like doing just a little sort of bicep curl and narrowing that space. Okay. It's important that you go to this side and not just straight back. When I go for this choke, if Jamie passes his legs around the other side, now when I try to apply pressure, I won't actually be able to finish it. Okay? He's unwinding it by walking that way. So I need to block him and make sure he goes this way. He can walk as far as he wants the other way. Go that way. I can still choke him. Okay, so I'm trying to make like put two blocks in to stop him from going to the right. The first one's my right, right leg here, second one's this one. Okay, one other way he can get out of it is a forward roll. So sometimes I'll do that and now like I can still put pressure on his neck, but it's hard to actually finish like this. So if we go back one step. That's where my left leg comes in. I catch his back. Do a forward roll now, Jim. Touch. <laughs> and when I've got that too, even if they do roll, because my leg's there, I can follow him really well and finish it on the top of it. Sometimes they will roll. And I stay on the track and finish. So let's just go over that again. Underhook, catch the head, pull down, and you got the chin. Drag them down to the mat, put pressure on them so they can't get up. I'm going to come inside, catch the head to the side here, and then I'm going to drop that knee in, swing the leg over. I'm quite curled on my side, can you see that? I'm not flat on my back. And then we finish here. One last detail, if you want to put extra pressure, uh, you can bring your forearm in front of the, the shoulder. You probably won't need this that for this joke. If you get everything else right, you don't need to do that. If you're struggling, sometimes I'll put that there. It, it uh, counters some of their defense. But let's work that. Uh, let's go one for one with your partner, just because it's chokes. Uh, try not to put like full choke on until, like get everything else set up, and then just a little squeeze. Don't like half choke them the whole time, they'll get annoyed at you. So just nice and light uh, until the end, and just put a little squeeze in, all right? Um, I might just put a five minute timer on and just swap one for one. Okay. Three, two, one. As soon as you start choking hard from there, they just start freaking out. So you get it in position for that, but you actually don't put it all in until you're all the way through. Uh, Alright, let's just work going to the back now. So, uh, let's say I got Jamie down to here, but he managed to get a good grip on one of my hands. Okay, if this is the case and he's got a good grip, it's going to be hard for me to set up any sort of choke because I can't really choke that well with, with one arm. So I want to try and go around to his back. So all I'm going to do here, hit my weight through the shoulder, here like this. Uh, the pressure should be like, you know, they've got their neck there. Like you want to be uh, in that little hump region, you can see there, not over the top. If I'm here, Jamie can drive forward and grab my legs, potentially take me down. Okay, so I want to be blocking that, here like this, drive forward. Should be hard. Okay, he's got one of on my arms. So I'm gonna just block. Yeah. 
Everyone go on that side. I'm going to basically run around to his back. If I run around to his back, if I run around to his back just like this, uh, that's nice, but he's probably going to catch my leg as I do that. Okay. So I just want to block her. I block that leg. That's how to lift that arm. Uh, as I come around, you can even switch so your. Uh, I'm not too fussed on this, but if you want, you can switch so your right hand blocks it also. And then we're going to come around, grab the far hip, and as quick as possible, bring your hip next to the hip, like this. Okay. From here, like so. I'm going to block that arm, hip next to the hip. Now you're going to block that arm again and pull the hip to the mat. Like so. Maybe we just uh, finish there. Actually, I won't go through a full back take. We'll just try and bring them down into side control. So, once they're on the side, trap their arm, pull them back, and we're on top. From here like this, bring your hand in front, next to the hip, block their arm. And I'm just trying to pull his hip. He's got like no, no posts on this side now to keep him balanced. So I pull his hip that way. Trap this arm and pull my elbow down. Um, uh, now on top, <laughs> side control. Again. Right, so we got that. Uh, this time. Three minutes each on that, and we're getting some training. Three, two, one.